Hello, my name is Dr. Emil Verbin. Let's review the drilling sequence using my drill stop and guide. Shown here on the left is the guide and the burrs with drill stops attached. The first burr, an 023 round burr, the drill stop is set on the burr to engage the guide before the burr begins cutting the bone. This will start the osteotomy in the exact center of the channel on the guide. Next, a pilot drill is used with a stop set to limit depth 4 or 5 millimeters into the bone. Note the slot in the side of the guide to allow easy access. This greatly aids in the posterior area of the mouth and is usually not incorporated with anterior guides. The opening formed with the round burr can be easily found with the tip of your pilot burr. As you proceed with drilling depth, the stop will engage the guide and control the axis of the osteotomy. Drill four or five millimeters and take an x-ray to verify you are in the correct axis. The same drill stop limiting your depth will fit a 2.2, 2.8, and 3.5 Strawman or Blue Sky Bio drill. Now we can proceed with our normal drill sequence. First, the 2.2 followed by the 2.8 and 3.5 millimeter drills. The stops and guide will control the axis as you enlarge the osteotomy. As you can see, the stop will limit the vertical drilling depth and the guide will control the axis of your drilling. The stops may also be used without a guide, and there is no need to strain to see the markings on the drills. Now let's show how this system is used during surgery. In my surgical tray setup, the stops are stored in an autoclavable cassette from Osseus Technologies. The 050 hex driver used to attach the stops along with the stops are neatly organized in this cassette for ease of use. I like to have my drill stops preset on my drills for the length of the implant I will be placing before surgery to increase the efficiency and reduce surgical time. The stops are secured to the drill shank with a 050 set screw. These screws are extremely small and care must be taken when using them. Only a 050 driver can be used with these screws. Any other size will cause stripping of the screws and then prevent the stops from being secured to the drill shank. All of the drills have the same shank size but different cutting diameters. The stops are available for short and long drills with the markings to indicate limiting depth. The stops can slide from the top to the bottom on the 2.2 drill and can be inserted on the two-point drill from each end. As the drill diameters increase, the stops can only be placed on the burr from one end. As you can see, the 2.8 drill can only be inserted from one end of the stop. The patented internal bore allows the stop to be interchangeable with different drill diameters. This shows a 10 millimeter stop sliding down the shank and stopping at the 10 millimeter marking. The stop is prevented from going past the 10 millimeter mark by the cutting flutes of the drill. The stops are available for both long and short drills as shown here. I plan on placing a 4.1 by 10 millimeter implant with a surgical guide and to reduce my surgical time the stops are preset on my drills. The surgical guide is removed from the model and tried into the mouth. You can see how easy the guide fits into the mouth. The guide is flexible for easy insertion but at the same time rigid in the drilling area. When fabricated properly, the guide will require little if any adjustments in the mouth. The guide is then removed and anesthetic administered. A number 12 blade using a slightly crustal incision and extended to preserve the papilla is made to reflect a small flap. Preserving the papilla 
will enable evaluation of the tissue height to the crest of the bone which can be determined with the verbin depth gauge. To evaluate this relationship, rotate the collar on the gauge to the base and place it on the crest. Here it is determined recontouring of the ridge is required. Without ridge contouring, the platform on which the crown margin is established will be too coronal. A large round diamond from Brassler with water spray is used for this modification. When satisfied, the guide is inserted and the osteotomy is started with a round burr. The osteotomy with the O2O round burr and drill stop is started exactly in the center of the acrylic channel. There is no need to change tubes and sleeves because the channel and the drill stop will control the drilling axis. Next, the pilot drill is inserted through the slot. The tip of the drill engages the opening created by the round burr. After the pilot drill, an x-ray may be taken for axis evaluation. As you can see, the guide controls the axis perfectly. Proceed with the 2.2 drill. The drill stop is preset to the 10 millimeter mark. You do not have to strain to see the markings on the drill. The drill stop will limit the depth when it reaches the bone while the guide controls the axis. The guide is removed and the depth gauge which is set to 10 millimeters is placed to verify your depth and platform position. Here the position is perfect. The guide is reinserted and continue to enlarge the osteotomy with the 2.8 millimeter drill followed by the 3.5 millimeter drill. A 3.5 millimeter depth gauge may be used to check the depth followed by tapping of the bone and insertion of the implant. In this case a 4.1 by 10 millimeter strawman is used. The same protocol may be used for the Blue Sky Bio implant as well. The Blue Sky Bio implant uses a mountless design as compared to the strawman. A conversion kit is available for their insertion driver which will allow you to use the Strawman torque wrench. The implant shows excellent stability with an insertion torque of 35 newton centimeters. At this time it is advantageous to select the appropriate abutment height. The Strawman prosthetic kit is very helpful in the selection. The plastic try-in abutments are plastic replicas of the final abutment. This shows appropriate clearance for crown fabrication. The healing cap with antibiotic gel is placed and the flap is sutured with 5 silk followed by a Paradex rinse. The x-ray shows the final implant in the exact position and axis as the pilot drill. The Verbin surgical guide in conjunction with the Verbin drill stop allows precise three-dimensional implant placement with a high degree of safety.